Hi, Neil Hansen here. And if you've watched any of the video posts that I've done over the past few months, you get I spent a lot of time talking about making peace with where you are, knowing what you want and why you want it. I think these are crucial in changing the programming that our bodies receive from our conscious and subconscious mind. Know that wherever you are is a perfect example of the information that your body is getting. How you're thinking, how you're feeling, and things of that nature. So if you were to make peace with where you are, meaning you can accept where you are is just exactly where you should be based on the information your body is getting. And understand that it's nothing more than your interpretation of what is. Meaning that you feel bad because the way that you've been interpreting where you are. You, you are just where you are. It's how what you make where you are mean and say about you that it has you feeling bad. So when you could challenge those thoughts and beliefs, then you make peace with where you are. It's much easier to see what it is that you do want. And to know what you want as an end result, not I want to be leaner or thinner, because that's usually comparing yourself to the problem. So if you can wave a magic wand and end up where, where you would like to be tomorrow, wake up and the miracles occurred and you're exactly where you want to be, what would that look like? How would that be? and explain it to yourself or to somebody else in end result terms. And then really look at why you want it. What's in it for you? What's the payoff? Underneath that, there's a core value in there. And of course, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I've talked <laughs> enough about this in past videos. If you need to, you can go back and review those. But the next thing I'd really like to point out is uh, that, that may hold us back is understanding our belief about getting to our goals. And if you could take a scale of zero to 10, 10 being totally knowing that it's possible and zero being it's not going to happen whatsoever. I want you to ask yourself why you believe that. If you're say at a five, that means you're probably fairly doubtful. And I want you to ask yourself, why do you doubt the, your, your ability to get where you want to go? If it's simply, hey, I've chosen an unrealistic goal, then change your goal. Make a smaller goal or extend your date. But m more often than not, most people have disbelief based on limiting beliefs that they've learned through observation, whether it's something they learned from themselves through an experience they had, or from somebody else's experience, or what they've learned was possible. What I always challenge my clients on is, is really taking a step back and asking, did that source, whether it was you or somebody else, really understand how the mind and emotional system affect the programming or choices, um, our chemical system, uh, our hunger levels, things of that nature? Because in my world, in the fitness world, most people are using action as their only way to make changes. And when you do things of that nature, it's really hard. In fact, very hard to get the changes that you, that you want, but also to, to maintain those. I think the, the, the success rate in our industry for diets alone is something like 5%. And I think it's like 95% of people who lose weight will gain it back within three years. So when you have such small numbers like that, the action journey obviously isn't enough. If you can take a step back and understand that there's new research out there that things that I bring to you every week or every other week about how our brain works. This is new new information and most of what scientists know about the brain, I think it's about something like 95 to 98 percent of what we understand about the brain, scientists have learned in the last 10 years. By the time it makes it to the general public, it's old news to them and they're working on something new, but understand that you yourself or whoever you may have learned this information that's garnishing your disbelief may have had limited awareness, limited knowledge. So that's one way of challenging yourself, really taking a look at where this information came from and could it be wrong. And the other thing that you can do is look to see if anybody else who's been in your situation, who's currently in, who was once in your current situation, who actually achieved what you wanted to achieve. I guarantee if you look far enough, look hard enough, and it shouldn't be too hard, you will find somebody else who was successful. And if you can find the underlying things within that success was a state of belief and appreciation about who they are, they may have learned it at the end. But at some point, in order for them to maintain that, they had to change who they were as a person, not just their actions, but who they were, who they saw themselves to be. And that's the emotional state. And that, and that, I believe, is the huge X factor. So the actions that you do when you believe what's possible, you know why you want what you want, you know what you want, and you're okay with where you are, the action is nothing more than a fast forward button for you getting to your goal. So I hope that helps you in your journey of transforming your body. And 
Thanks for watching.